Sorry I'm a little bit quiet right now, but it's the middle of the night and I've been conducting another gardening experiment that I want to share with you guys because I'm getting amazing results and I think you can benefit from it. I think you're going to like this one. Once again, it has to do with heating a greenhouse, in this case a mini greenhouse, on the cheap. This is practically free. <music> All right guys, so this is my mini greenhouse. It can actually fit quite a bit in here. And for reference, before we move forward with the results here, I just want to show you. This is the outside temperature right now. We're at about 31, possibly 32 degrees Fahrenheit. So we're at that freezing temperature range. Yet here in the mini greenhouse in the middle of the night, and I've got this little thermometer, hygrometer, probe set up in there so we can see what the temperature is inside before we open up the door because it's going to let the heat out but we're at 52 percent humidity and 51.4 degrees fahrenheit so we've got 20 degrees difference in this mini greenhouse and wait till you see what i've done here so easy Right, so here's the setup I've got a five gallon bucket in here and I'm using that as the heat sink and what I have is a little submersible 50 watt fish tank aquarium heater submerged in the water I'll show you that in a second and that's heating the bucket up to 94 degrees so that's what's producing all the heat in here and you can see I've got several flats I've got some lettuce cilantro eggplants nasturtiums even some tomatoes in here freezing temperatures outside but cozy in here and then on top of the bucket for a lid i just put a piece of cardboard and i have some seeds sprouting here so i'm using the top cover as a little seedling heat mat it's nice and warm so i'll pull out the old trusty infrared thermometer and let's aim it at the lid here see what we got so we got up to 64.5 degrees Fahrenheit so a nice cozy spot there for the seedlings take this down I'll show you the setup so we've got 94 degrees on this little fish tank aquarium heater and this little 50 watt heater if it were to be running 24 hours a day it would only cost about 18 cents a day on average or $1.25 a week. But the heater's not gonna be running 24 hours a day. And that's because you should have your greenhouse somewhere in the sun. And during the day, if it heats up hot enough in here, well, the heater's gonna automatically turn off and the water will stay warm from the natural sunlight. And then once it starts to drop down below the temperature that you set, you can range it I got it at the maximum 94 degrees Fahrenheit, but you can bring it down 80 degrees, whatever you're looking to achieve. It'll kick back on. So a very functional, low cost design. Right now, I have nearly 200 plants getting started in here. Another good move for this setup would be if you can find a black bucket, that would be preferable, or even spray paint the bucket black. And what that's gonna do is allow the bucket to absorb more of the natural heat from the sun during the day so not a bad setup gaining 20 degrees Fahrenheit on a freezing night so if you're interested in creating your own little mini greenhouse setup like this check the links down below in the description box I'll leave links to the different products here and there's lots of different brands and styles of submersible water heaters this was a Vivo Sun 50 watt, and last I checked they were out, but I did find one that was really nice looking. It would probably be the one that I'd buy if I was to repurchase one today. So I dropped a link to that one down below for you to check out. But as with all the information I share with you here on the channel, I'd encourage you to make it your own. Hopefully you got some ideas from this project. You could definitely scale it up, scale it down, uh, make it fit your needs. But the key here is the low cost, the functionality, 
So with that, I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, be sure to smash that thumb button for me. I sure do appreciate it. And if you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, I'd encourage you and invite you to join us. Uh, new uploads every week, sometimes every day. And I'm always sharing with you all the different things growing on around here, even at three in the morning. So with that, thank you for watching. Have yourself a good one. Until next time, this is Dan from PlantAbundance.com. Take care. I'll be talking to you again soon.